welcome to our second edition of the Wet Tropic Times. Now that we've changed our name and we've expanded our region, which is very exciting, very, very busy there. So welcome to another film segment for us. And I'm here today, my name's Sarah Hootman, and I'm here with Imogen Cars. How are you going, Imogen? Hello, everyone. I'm going well, thank you. How are you, Sari? Good, just very tired, very busy. There is so much to do with this expansion, but it's actually brilliant. I'm spending a lot more time out on the road, talking to different people from different areas, and it's actually really lovely to be meeting lots of different people. So I may see you soon if I haven't been in your area. I'll possibly get there sometime soon. <laughs> but what we are now on is school holidays. And I'm hearing there's a little bit of action happening around Mission Beach area. Is that true, Imogen? Yeah, so much. So as um, it's coincided with the um, the restrictions easing, uh, there's been so many people come to Mission Beach over the last week uh, since the school holidays started. And the weather has been amazing for the most part. I think we had a bit of rain at the start of the week, but it's been sunny and clear and pretty hot um, over the weekend, so that was awesome. It is a bit windy though, so I've had a few townsville people around the area say like, it's so cold, but <laughs> I'm pretty hot too, but I think all of the southerners are enjoying the heat, so that's good. But, um, every campground and caravan park around here is fully packed out, um, and yeah, everyone, it's the town is just buzzing with people and kids, and yeah, it's, it's a good place to be. Yeah, I actually spoke to somebody recently about the Binder Boulders. So mm -hmm. they've eased their restrictions as well. And there are only, well, as far as, I'm not sure if it's changed because we did have those changes more recently. But the last I was reported that they were allowed to open 10 sites at the Boulders and then the council comes in and does regular cleans to make sure that they stay COVID safe. And is that true of every other area? Do they have to maintain their COVID practices? Yeah, well, uh, all of the caravan and camping um, facil facilities, sorry, around Mission, um, they are doing like deep cleans and um, sticking to their hygiene um, protocols. But I've just spoken to uh, the people at Beachcomber Caravan Park in South Mission this morning and they are packed with 300 people so I'm not sure what the restrictions are now with like how many you can have but it seems like you can have a lot so it's really good yeah I actually thought it was kind of almost back to normal because I, I, I'm we wasn't a week early for stage three restrictions if I remember correctly yeah I'm pretty sure we're relatively back to normal but we're just not allowed to have Victorians come in yeah because of the the concerns that were happening in Victoria but it looks like you know it'll be good for us because I'm pretty sure people have missed being able to camp and being able to go out into nature and go out on hikes and go out on walks which I yeah. actually think is amazing and one of the things that I did actually hear was that you guys in Mission Beach are really lucky with the whales because isn't it true that they do come here yearly and how long do they stay? Yeah, so right now we're just seeing the mi uh, the migration of the whales up north and they have just arrived only uh, last week, or oh, the Friday, the 26th of June, so a couple of weeks ago now. Um, but that was when uh, Mission Beach Charters first spotted a whale here. And, yeah, they come every year um, from about the start of July and stay until around September. But this year is really special because since the um, beginning of World War II, we've never seen this many whales migrating. Um, there's an yeah. estimate of 40,000 whales migrating north this year, and that is purely a result of the conservation efforts um, that everyone has, you know, put forth so, so hard working. So, yeah, it's great. It's awesome. And um, Adele from Mission Beach Charters says that they saw the first whale they spotted was just a little um, calf and he stayed for around 40 minutes, um, was really cheeky, put on a huge show um, and, yeah, the tourists loved it. So it's really exciting. Yeah. Wow. How many people packed the beach then to see to see that? That sounds really amazing. Mission Beach, but yeah, still, it's, it's I did a, think that there was lots of cars. Was there lots of cars for the opening of the 
the sorry what is it called the markets was there lots of cars for the opening of the markets yes yeah, so last week last weekend was the beginning of the markets um and it was absolutely packed it coincided with the first weekend of the school holidays so as you can imagine it was just I've never seen Mission Beach so busy in my life, um, but I think everyone was just really excited to finally be able to get out of the house and go to the markets. And um, yeah, we saw kind of similar numbers for just this, well, yesterday's markets, um, very packed again. Lots of yeah. stuff to do and all the cafes were full and yeah, it was really lively and lovely. Yeah, so I guess I was just wondering is now, that it's packed and these markets are happening, how does that fit in with the whales? Do they all go down the beach to see the whales as well? Um, well, I actually live, I just moved to South Mission and my neighbours actually told me yesterday morning they spotted a whale from their front porch. So we yeah. think we spotted one in the afternoon yesterday, but we're not sure. Um, but the Mission Beach charters told me it's actually not good weather right now for whale watching in the boat it's been so windy and um like prime conditions for spotting is flat so you can okay. see the spurt yeah. of the water and stuff but i assume that people will be keeping their eyes out from now and um, i know that nancy lowe from the water taxi she spotted some from dunk island so yeah i think everyone's keeping their eyes out. yeah <laughs> sounds like it so I also heard that there might be some amazing innovation happening down at Mission Beach. Do you know anything innovative that's been happening? Yeah, so over the weekend we saw the opening of Salt Mission Beach, which is a new innovative restaurant that offers um, a really unique dining experience and cooking experience if you're game. Um, the idea is to cook on hot Himalayan salt blocks um and i think you i haven't been there yet but i think that they serve it kind of like korean barbecue style when you get it on your table and you cook it yourself so yeah. that's really cool and um, they serve up tuppers and platters and really decadent looking main meals so i'm very excited to try it but um they were fully booked out for both opening night which was friday and the following evening and i saw that they've received incredible feedback on their facebook um, so I'm going down tomorrow to chat to them. So hopefully they'll have more stories to share. But it's really good to have another restaurant to try out and mission, especially after um, being in lockdown for so long. It's, it's good to yeah. have some <laughs> Yeah, it actually sounds like it's been very busy in this last little season as the camping has opened. We've got a new restaurant and the wells are out. So it actually yep. sounds like there's a lot of action down there in Mission Beach and also across the region as, you know, bavinda has got camping sites back open and uh, there's ones in Lower Tully. It's a Lower Tully campsite back open. Um, so, yeah, there'd be a, I think there's a few across the whole of the region. They're all starting to get back into our normal travel because essentially one of the areas that I think that people have missed is that we are a spot for people as they're, bit quiet through this period due to those restrictions but it's actually fantastic that things are opening back up again and people have places to go things to do yeah and the weather's been nice so it's lovely it's yeah good so there was rain i guess i think the week before where mm -hmm. but it was fantastic to see like a sunny weekend <laughs> so hopefully we're into that cold season where the rain has officially stopped because the last i heard it tends to be the Tully show is like the the cut cut line, <laughs> the deadline <laughs> for yeah. when the rain kind of starts to then ease off fully because yesterday it reduces just around I think February, but it actually kind of officially seems to go a little bit more quiet as the cold comes and the cold tends to come in our area. Well what we consider cold because obviously we're not southerners. <laughs> It comes a little bit more cold just after the Tully show, and that's when the cave farmers have told me that's when they tend to get no rain at all, generally speaking, for at least a couple of weeks to finish the cutting, and then hopefully it's done by November. 
So mm -hmm. hopefully we are now got that easing of the, of the rain. I actually personally invested in some bunning rollies because I realised we're having this last spell of rain. Um, but so now it's done. So next year. <laughs> We'll be back. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to say goodbye and we'll catch up with you guys next week. Wet yeah. <laughs> See you later. Bye. See you.